Hello guys, welcome back to Cafe with Gary. Today, we're going to make a wonderful tachin together. This is another traditional Persian Iranian dish. Let's just say that it's a crunchy mold of goodness, rice, chicken, uh, candied barberries, butter, and saffron. Come back and let's make this together. So our process starts with barberries for tang and for sweetness. We're going to clean them up. Make sure you get any debris or stems that are still in the package. Uh, just run through it. Then we're going to wash the barberries. Just run some water through it. Get rid of dust and um, stuff that may still be left in the package. Now we're going to chop the pistachios. Um, Pistachio slivers, uh, uh, their packaged sliver nuts are customary, but I prefer to chop them, rough chop them. It's cheaper to do it that way, and you can control the consistency. Uh, th that's what I'm going for right there. Now we're going to um, debone the chicken. You can cook the chicken with turmeric and other Persian recipes. I like to get the rotisserie chicken from grocery store, from Costco, wherever you get it, and then debone it. There you go. And then you can shred and cut it to size. Uh, now we are going to candy our barberries. Standard process to candy the barberries, just like any fruit, uh, sugar and butter. So we're going to uh, provide the recipe in the comments below for you. Guys, you can add any aromatics like cardamom or um, cinnamon or any other nuts. You see, I'm adding the pistachio nuts here. So mix it all up and continue that candying process in the butter and sugar. Add a little more oil and the chicken. Now we're gonna saute the chicken with the barberries and the nuts and the flavors that we added in there. At this point, you can add some saffron if you like more saffron, but that's what we're going for right there. That's gonna be the filling in our tachin. So at this point, we're going to use our steamed Persian rice. Uh, if you haven't seen that process, we have a separate video on Persian saffron rice. You can pause and go watch that video on our channel. Once you strain the rice um, and run the cold water through it per process, uh, you basically need to add the yogurt and the eggs, saffron and other ingredients and make your tachin mix. Uh, this mix will go to, at the bottom of the pot and over the filling. The recipe calls for an egg and an egg yolk for more creamy texture. We're gonna mix milk, eggs, uh, yogurt and saffron, and the vegetable oil, and mix it with that uh, cooked rice that we have prepared. In effect, the mixture you see here with the cooked rice is gonna provide the binding and the crunchy crust at the bottom of the pot and over the filling. And it's gonna be your rice cake, if you will, provide the mold, uh, and it's gonna provide that wonderful color and crunchiness all over the mold. We add salt and pepper to taste. And now we're going to add our rice to the mixture and mix it all up. So you have to stir it all thoroughly. Make sure the yellow yogurt egg um, dressing, if you will, goes all over the rice and you get a consistent yellow cake. Right there, that's what you're going for. I had some extra rice um, over the amount prescribed in the recipe, so I'm adding one extra egg to the mixture.
once the tachin um, and egg yogurt mixture is it's all stirred up and mixed thoroughly we're going to put a mixture of butter and grapeseed oil at the bottom of the pot put some more saffron solution and kind of swish it around to make sure it's all over the bottom of the pot and about a couple of inches up the walls so we're going to split the mixture in half remember half of it goes to the bottom of the pot then we put the filling in the middle and the other half goes over top of it so you have this tachin mold if you will with the filling in the middle so i'm going to press it down slightly to make sure it's even surface then we'll put the dress in the the chicken and barberries and uh, pistachios over that bottom layer. Once this is all cooked and we flip it over, the chicken filling will be in the middle. So now we're topping it off with the second half of your rice mixture and we're gonna press it down the same way, make sure it's an even um, layer surface. So you see, this will be the bottom of the tachin once it's cooked and flipped over. There you go, it's all uh, even layered. Now we're going to uh, cook it on medium high about five minutes. Once you see the inside of your lid uh, sweating a little bit, it's time to seal it with paper towel or a cloth, a uh, piece of cloth, and then cook it for 45 minutes on medium low. Right before your rice is ready, uh, you prepare a cold water bath in the kitchen sink, then uncover the pot and transfer the pot into the wa cold water bath. That helps separate the metal pot from your crunchy mold in the pot. The sizzle tells me that the, the pot is uh, contracting. Uh, make sure you uh, dry some of the water. And then we put a big serving platter on the open pot and flip it over and that drops the whole mold down into the platter and if we did everything right voila there you have it guys the wonderful crunchy persian chicken tachin now a couple of things to remember the layer in the middle i use chicken um, you can use turkey, leftover Thanksgiving turkey. You can, use, I've used chicken from a can. So all of that works. You can add your favorite nuts, um, walnuts, whatever you have, other aromatics like cardamom or cinnamon, a touch of it. So those are the variations. You can make, as you saw in a traditional pot, the traditional method in a pot, or you can put it in a casserole, in a Pyrex dish, cook it in the oven at 375 degrees for hour and a half. And you can make this um, in smaller sizes. So instead of one portion, put it in a couple of smaller Pyrex dishes. And this is an individual size. Believe it or not, this was done in a little white ram kit, right? And we put it in the oven, then you flip it back. This is a nice side dish for one person. With, so it's a mini uh, tachin, if you will. So if you make this dish at home, please send me pictures on Instagram. I would love to see your pictures. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet and hit that little bell button so we can keep in touch. Thanks again for being here with me and I hope to see you here at Cafe Bagheri very, very soon.